Hi everybody, my name is Hannah and this is Pepper and Pine and I have a geometry lesson to share with you today. We're working through our live education Waldorf curriculum for geometry and today we're working on five-fold symmetry. So this lesson is going to be botanical in nature and we're looking at the field buttercup and we're looking at the underside of the field buttercup for this lesson. I've got my main lesson book here. Instead of working on the chalkboard, I am doing these illustrations in a main lesson book and then my daughter is copying these illustrations into her main lesson book. These main lesson books measure nine and a half inches by 12 and a half inches. They have onion skin in between the pages and you can find them at a child's dream. I have my compass here and I'm going to set it to about three inches and you can set it to larger or smaller depending on the size of your page. For this one, I think a little bit bigger is easier versus smaller. Now I do have a slow tutorial on how to do five division of a circle, but after you get your diameter, you want to extend your compass and do arcs on either side of your circle, reposition your compass to the top of your diameter, and do your arcs again. And where those cross, you're going to draw a line right through the center, and this is going to give you four division of a circle and the perfect square. But we're going to reposition our compass so that it is at the original uh, radius of your circle. And then once it's at the original radius, you do want to check it by swinging an arc just to make sure that it is indeed the same radius. Then you're going to swing an arc from the top of your diameter right through the center. Next, we want to use our straight edge to connect those two arcs and draw a line. It's going to cross through your radius. You want to reposition your compass at that point and extend it so that it reaches the edge of the diameter and then swing an arc. And then we want to reposition our compass one more time from the point on the diameter down to where it crosses the radius below the center. And that's going to give us our five division. So we're going to leave the compass set at five division and erase all of these extra lines and arcs. We do not need them. And then at this point, we can do our five division of a circle. But if you would like, leave your compass at that position. And you can also draw multiple circles with your original radius. And that way you can do multiple five divisions without having to recalculate it every time. I'm going to go around the circle by swinging very small arcs around the circle in order to do my five division. And you do want to double check by going around the circle one more time just to make sure that those are indeed correct. A little variation can cause a really big discrepancy by the time you go all the way across the circle or all the way around. So here I am just double checking. It usually does require at least one time of extra checks. So now at this point, we're going to be doing our arcs for this circle. Now you can reposition your compass onto one of those arcs. We're going to do not quite a full circle because we have a large original circle and we just really want to get the arcs around the center of this circle. And you can see that it produces a pentagon right around the center. Then I want to accentuate each of those petals into more rounded shapes. And then where those rounded shapes overlap, you can see that other set emerge right around the center. So I'm taking some yellows and a bit of brown in order to accentuate those petals, which are the underside of the field buttercup. And so I'm rounding them out. And then where those overlapped is more of that darker brown right around the center. So this could look like the front side of the buttercup, but it's actually the underside. And then adding a little bit more yellow on each of those petals because it's just such a beautiful color. And I really like the way that this image turned out, especially when we take a little bit of shadowing and green in order to really accentuate that this is actually the underside of the buttercup. And that's when I add the stem at the very bottom. So this was a very quick lesson to do, especially if you've already practiced your five division of a circle. This is just another way to practice that and to bring a botanical feel to the lesson where you can see how practical this lesson is when you are combining it with some of your botany lessons, as well as seeing this practical side of geometry in the world around us. 
I hope that you enjoyed this look at our geometry lesson. Don't forget to check out the blog post that accompanies this video where you'll find more information and links to the resources that I've used. You can find that link to the blog post in the description box below. And if you'd like to see how we're homeschooling on a daily basis, you can find me on Instagram at Pepper and Pine.